Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks today with another quick Starship Updates episode. Full stack again. Almost five months after the first test flight, Starship 25 sits atop Booster 9, awaiting the FAA license approval for the second test flight. All eyes are on Starbase Texas again, where the official testing operations with our Starship and Super Heavy prototype have been duly accomplished. Cryogenic proof tests and static fires have been successfully conducted. Now everybody is waiting again for the FAA finally giving the go to light the engines. Don't ask me when the launch is going to happen, because I simply don't know. I have always been too optimistic in the past when it came to those kinds of predictions. But I am pretty sure that we are just so close in getting the FAA approval. In my view, we could literally be just days away. Why? Because I don't think that SpaceX would have stacked a test flight ready Starship if they had known that they wouldn't be getting a launch license from the FAA very soon. Following the installation of a water deluge system underneath the launch mount, let's just quickly wrap up what had been additionally done by SpaceX in the past weeks. After the first test flight, a total of 57 corrective actions have been taken and already duly accomplished by SpaceX. Those actions have also been reported to the FAA. Ship 25, Booster 9 and all 33 Raptors have been modified and enhanced. They are therefore way more advanced than their predecessors, used in the first test flight. More cameras have been installed on both ship and booster to check the vehicle's condition and to broadcast the live event of the flight. Finally, the flight termination system has been modified as well and already duly tested. The goal of the second test flight is to have a successful stage separation and flight into orbit of Starship. If we see a controlled water landing of Starship, well, that would then just be the icing on the cake. However the outcome of the second test flight will be, further prototypes are in line, awaiting their testing campaign at Boca Chica, such as Ship 26 and Booster 10, being the next test candidates for the test flight number 3. But more prototypes are already in the pipeline, like Ship 28, 29, 30 and 31, as well as Boosters 11 and 12. You see, rapid prototyping is a key element of SpaceX's plan in building the first fully reusable rocket in the history of mankind. If you are new to my channel, then don't forget to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will let all of you know once SpaceX has received the FAA approval for the next test flight and when the flight will happen. Until then, have a great week my friends and see you soon in my next video. Ciao!